I'm gonna get some more monsters here. Oh, damn. What the fuck was that? Huh? Huh. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be blinking into him when he does the fireball thingy. That's that's actually a very big burst, but it wasn't enough. Yo yo, it's Jojo. Now it's time to play the capstone dungeon on my hardcore sorceress here. I am level 63. Uh, hopefully it's uh, good enough. I don't know. Uh, the mobs are level 70. So uh, it is a little bit spooky to do this on hardcore, but I think we're going to be fine. Uh, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it. And hopefully we don't die. We do have the death save with the flame shield and uh, I do have a scroll of escape bound to my mouse button. So as long as we don't uh, panic, should be able to get out if we die. If our death save gets procked, procked Okay, I can't go that way. But I think we should be okay. Like, I deal insane damage. So here's the guy. You see this? Level 70 elite? Yeah, that's what I thought. Can't really do anything to my insane damage. Jesus Christ. You see that shit? Wow. Yeah, well, we, we, we should be able to do this as long as Elias isn't too difficult. I'm gonna get some more monsters here. Oh, damn. What the fuck was that? Huh. Huh? I got hit by like a charge? From the, 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 the bone crusher guy or what's his name? I got fucking one shot. It didn't even look like I was close. What the hell? We're gonna need to run back that clip. I have no clue what the fuck happened there. Holy Jesus Christ. That was spooky AF. Okay, well, we, we wait <laughs> until the flame enchant cooldown is back. And I guess I don't have, since I scroll of escaped, I don't have a TP back there, so I'm gonna need to run. Uh, our flame enchant cooldown is gonna be back while we're running. Jesus Christ, okay. So maybe, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. So I, I wanted to like grab a bunch of mobs together so I could AoE them down like faster. But maybe I shouldn't let those uh, those big guys stay alive then. Maybe I should just uh, kill them ASAP. That's what it looked like to me. So I wonder if it, this is going to be a completely new reset instance or if it's the same. My enchantment is back. There's no cooldown, I hope. Okay, it's still the same instance. That's good to know. I'm not gonna have to redo the whole thing just because I TP out. That's very good to know. But okay, so if he screams and charges at me, that's a one shot. That is a useful information. Still long range everything. Can be kinda safe. Right. Yeah, that was the charge. I saw it. I saw it. Okay. So if I if I see that charge again, I'm gonna need to flame shield preemptively. Uh, 
We're doing all right. Slow them down a little bit now. I'm not ready yet. Jesus. I mean, the unique raiments are actually so good. Having a stun on demand is just very nice, very nice. But that was actually the first time my death save procced. Hasn't procced at all in any way, shape or form. Until this time. I'm not ready yet. Boom. I even pick up normal yellows? I don't know, man. Investigate the gluttonous chapel. Jesus, the suck on that one is wrong. Revive the trial of the week. Maybe I shouldn't be killing stuff. Because look. I don't think more mobs will spawn if I don't kill anything. Okay, they, they do spawn. This is fine. We are fine. We are very strong. Yeah, so as long as I play this safe and Elias isn't too strong, it should be okay. Like I, I am not the like strongest. Every five seconds. Increases the damage you take from enemies. Oh, okay. So as long as uh, Elias isn't too strong, and uh, I do have like decent, decent single target. At least when I stagger stuff. Before staggering, it is very weak. I really like uh, a unique. Don't need to kill everything. Oh yeah, I forgot the fucking iron skin. Wow, Jesus. Okay, now. Now I have 5k armor. Let's go. Now this is a big difference. Suiciders are scary. Oh wow, that one is tanky.
own carving to the pedestal. This we can do. This we can do. No problemos. Boom. Travel to the Cathedral of a Flesh. This we can also do. Oh. Duration of any crowd control effect. Okay. So I can't be too slow. Okay, so that's an Animus Carrier. Jesus, the range on the pulling. I mean, it's actually insane that I haven't gotten... Uh, I haven't gotten this one on Softcore. It feels so much better to play Sork with, uh, with the pull on Blink. Especially on like my Arclash Sork. I definitely feel that I am not quite hitting everything that I should be hitting. I guess this curse thing also makes it so... Uh, the curse thing also makes it so you can't just skip all the mobs and run straight to like Elias. Oh! Jesus. Anime carrier? He is dead. Yeah, so the poison stuff is dangerous, but at least not one shot. There are two anime carriers. Oh, I got another reset on the Frost Nova with the lucky hit. The lucky hit defensive skills reset. Let's go. One more anime carrier. Don't want to get blown up by the suiciders. Yeah, get, getting this unique. So you pull in mobs with the uh, with blink, with teleport. Jesus, it feels so good actually. Wait, where's the where's the elite? Oh, there. This is how we do it. Oh, 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 where am I supposed to go? I, I, I don't know. Oh, here's like a healing well thingy. Oh, maybe that was supposed to be for later. Jesus, I could actually get them both. Wow. Um. Yeah, like this can't be the right way. Oh, maybe it can. I'm not ready yet. Yep. Maybe it can be the right way. Was it Animus into the Animus urn? Now we've got the anime. Good night, disciples of uh, Elias. I believe it is time for the boss. And we have an avalanche stack, so that's cool. Now we just gotta stagger him. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't be blinking into him when he does the fireball thingy. That's, that's actually a very big burst, but it wasn't enough. wasn't enough. 
still haven't procced my death save yet. He's still winnable, he will soon get staggered again. And now he's dead. Okay! Maybe I shouldn't maybe I should have gotten him lower before staggering him. Oh well, it worked! We did it! Very cool! Now we are in world tier 4. Now I just gotta somehow survive as a level 63 and get 73 mobs. Ah, that is gonna be very spooky. Very spooky. But okay. Thanks to you. Thanks you. Thank you guys for watching is what I was supposed to say. Uh, I hope this was uh, fun to see. Catch me in world tier 4 soon. We're gonna do higher nightmare dungeons. That's gonna be lit. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. I'm just going to scroll through the items here real quick and uh, you will see for yourself. You can pause the video at any time if you want to take a look at them closer. Uh, but these are by no means any bis items or anything. And I still have the minimum rolls from the Codex of Power. I have not like imprinted anything. I have saved all of my legendaries in my stash for uh, the ancestral items that I'm going to get. And hopefully we can get some upgrades and put some max roll imprints on them. But for now, I do have the minimum rolls on pretty much everything. I was lucky and managed to find the raiment of the infinite before the run. I got this from a Helltide in Nightmare Mode. Big Omega Nice. I mean, this item is insane. Once I got this, like teleport got so much more fun to use. It's like a mini vacuum. You just suck them in and they're all stunned. And then you freeze them and they take like five billion extra damage from Aspect of Control. Very pog. Anyways, we're moving on. Avalanche. Barrier when I meet an elite. This could also be an extra Frost Nova um, roll. I did have that on my chest before I got Raiment of the Infinite. This one is pretty good. You become unstoppable after teleporting. Same thing as getting the teleport move speed. Could have like the extra crowd control on boots instead, or the flame shield immobilizes for extra stagger and getting immobilized to prog uh, to proc aspect of control. This is my weapon. I managed to find this an item level 700 plus sacred item. If you upgrade it above 725, it will become just as good as an ancestral piece. And you can see we've got crit damage, we've got vulnerable damage, we've got an int roll. Unfortunately, I only got damage to chilled. Uh, which is okay, still uh, still a good roll, but I would have liked like damage to core skills instead. Uh, but this is fine, this is fine. We're chilling enemies, it just doesn't work on bosses until they actually get staggered. But I mean, that's okay. As you can see in the clip, Elias does get bursted real hard once he gets staggered. And that would have been even more insane with an extra 20% max roll on the weapon here. And I actually do have several of those in my stash. So <laughs> I would have made Caps on Dungeon way easier. Well, this one is very important for your burst to be as strong as possible. You spam those right clicks when you have full mana. This is just to help with the stagger. You pop that blizzard on the boss. The ice spikes give help you with stagger. He's staggered. Boom. You ice shards. And of course, the ice shards are legendary. 